Hey guys, Rob Bowen here, IMX Productions. Today we're looking at some quick retouching techniques that you can do in Photoshop to get your photos really, really stunning, okay? So, we're gonna jump right in. It's a picture of my cat, Rescue Cat Willow. It's a good photo, but it's a little blah. It's a little, you know, not too much color and everything, but a lot of information there. So as long as the, the picture's high quality, it's in focus, we can do a lot with it. So. First thing I always like to do, create a new layer. So you've got that original layer always there. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna add a sharpening mask, an unsharpened mask. So move the radius, move the amount, and we're looking mainly at the face because that's what's in focus. And we're just gonna sharpen it because we really want those eyes to pop, the whiskers to pop, and all that stuff. Now, we don't wanna sharpen the background. So what I do is I add a mask, fill it black, grab a brush, low hardness, 100% opacity, and we're just gonna brush in the eyes. You see how that really makes them pop, okay? Go around the ears, those whiskers, we can really see every individual strand. And I'm basically, this is, what I'm doing is I'm masking my sharpened layer so that only where I draw the mask, that's where the effect appears. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna option click on the mask here to show you, and then we can just fill in where we missed the spots. And that's basically, that's all that's where that effect is appearing. Okay, perfect. Let's do some adjustments. So let's add a curves, and we're just gonna tighten that black in there. We're gonna pull the curve upwards and see how we're just kind of adding some contrast, we're adding some brightness to our photo. Okay, and a lot of this is preference. Just move it to wherever you want it to be. Excellent. Nope. We're actually, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, on the original photo, we're gonna grab the dodge tool. Now what dodge tool does is basically just brighten things. So I'm gonna go a couple passes around the eyes just to brighten. So dodge tool, just around the eyes, couple passes, just to brighten it up. Now we're gonna add a hue and saturation and let's make those eyes pop even more. So we're gonna up the saturation till we got really bright color, okay? We're gonna fill that black, grab a brush, and we just wanna brush that around the eyes, okay? Because I don't want that saturation to appear everywhere, just want it around the eyes. Okay, next one, we're gonna add a vibrance uh, adjustment. So up the vibrance, up the saturation a tad, and just, again, like I said, this is preference, get it to where you like the photo. Okay, close that, perfect. Very good, love it. And already, as we see, this is, if I remove some of these layers, we're gonna group all these layers together. And we just have the original back in the back. And as you can see, look, with a few simple adjustments, look at the difference we've created in this photo. Okay, so it's just that simple. Few adjustment layers, few kind of tweaks, sharpening, saturating around the eyes. Um, the dodge tool we use, simple tricks to really make your photos pop. Uh, if, you're, if you're uploading to Instagram, a lot of this can be done directly on Instagram, but if you're doing it on Instagram, well, the filter affects the whole image. This way you can really go in and put detail around the eyes, around around specific areas of your photograph, okay? Doesn't just work for pets, tubers for all kinds of photos. So uh, please use these techniques, make your photos pop before you post them to Instagram or wherever. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, don't forget, comment below, let me know what kind of tutorials you wanna see. Um, and if, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell so you'll be notified every time we upload new content. We'll see you next time. Cheers.